To put in our hem guide, we're going to use just a contrasting color of sewing thread. And I threaded it onto a blunt bent tip tapestry needle because I don't want to actually pierce the threads. I'm now just going to bring this up and down almost like I'm basting, running a basting thread. And I'm going to just work my way across the warp. And this will serve to make an easy, even line for where I'm going to fold for my hem. And I'm doing it with sewing thread because I'm gonna remove this after I press the hem in place. And I don't want there to be a gap. If I used the weft thread, it would leave a gap there. Small, but I'd rather not have one at all. And you can see I'm not counting threads or being very picky about this. I just want something that's going to be fairly visible, just to make it easy. Okay, so now that I've got that across, I'm just going to gently beat it into place. Now I'm going to continue with my weaving. You can see this is a little trickier just because the color changes, but you can see my black thread running along here, and that is going to help me when I go to turn the hem to have a nice even hem line. So now we're ready to fold the hem. The piece is finished and I've taken it off the loom. So you can see here is my nice even line and I'm gonna fold up the hem and I'm looking for my contrasting thread all the way across here and I'm going to make that my line. So I'm going to Hold this in place, and with my iron, I'm going to press it so that the line along there. And for my second press, I will trim this off, and then I can do the under hem, the second fold, press that into place, and I'll be ready to stitch down the hem. So here is my finished piece, and here is the folded up hem. You can see that the edge is nice and even. One of the ways I can tell is that these stripes line up really well. So there's that beautiful, even folded edge, and then I hand stitched the hem. <laughs>